In this video, I'm gonna show you products that are gonna help your gray hair to grow, to be nice and bright, and to be moisturized. If that's something that you're looking for for your gray hair, then keep watching. And make sure you watch all the way to the end to see the last product that might surprise you to add into your gray hair routine. So the very first thing I'm gonna show you guys is what can help you to grow your natural hair. Circulation in your scalp is very important and scalp massages are a way to help to stimulate those follicles to be able to grow. So if you're not doing scalp massages regularly, then this product might help you to start. I'm talking about this amazing scalp massager that I got from Amazon. The links to all these products will be in the description box. But I love this scalp massager. It has silicone nodules. As you'll see in this video, I use this scalp massager when my hair is wet on wash day. I also use it when my hair is dry and it helps especially for your edges and the crown area of your scalp. It helps to massage there regularly to be able to help your hair to grow. You could also use your 10 fingers, but scalp massages are a great way to help your hair to grow. The next product that I'm gonna share with you guys was recommended to me by you subscribers, and that is the Bantu Yellow Not Out, Yellow Out Conditioner. And it was really great at um, whitening my hair, especially my white patch area. So if you're looking to get rid of uh, the yellow tones or brassy tones in your hair, this would definitely be something for you to try. And as you see in this video here, I enjoyed using this. It really helped my hair to feel soft. I love the smell of aloe in it, and I love the fact that it has a white color. Of course, as you're trying to brighten your gray hair, it's helpful to use products that don't necessarily have a color. This next product that I'm about to share with you will be really great to help moisturize your gray hair, as well as brighten. So there's a two system. I was contacted by Buclem, the maker of these blue toning drops, as well as this curl cream. I tried both of these on my hair, and I really like this as a moisturizer for my gray hair. The way my hair is underneath here, instead of using my favorite conditioner from Kinky Curly Not Today, I feel like that leave-in conditioner is great when I'm doing wash and goes. But if I'm doing these type of protective styles that you see me have, I like this Buclem Curl Cream because it's a bit heavier. Um, it's a bit heavier than the Kinky Curly leave-in and it gives my hair really great moisture. My husband and my son also love this conditioner for their hair. Now, as you will see in this video, you can pair the blue toning drops with the curl cream. What I love about these color toning drops are that they're a way to brighten your gray hair. You can put in your shampoo, your conditioner, or your styling products. I've shown you guys things that can help you to brighten your gray hair during the wash process and condition process, but now I have something that can help me during the styling process to brighten my gray hair. So I'll be showing you more videos of me trying this with other products like my gels to see if that also gives me some added benefits to brightening my gray hair. Detangling my hair before I wash or cleanse it has been a game changer. Ever since I went natural, learning that tip has helped wash day to be so much easier for me. So these next three products that I'm gonna show you guys are going to be able to help you when it, whether it comes to detangling your hair or giving your hair some nice moisture before you wash and cleanse your hair. The very first one I'm gonna show you guys is from Nature's Little Secret. And this pre-poo is so great. This is my number one pre-poo that I love and the reason why is because of the ingredients. For those of you who are looking to strengthen your hair again to help your gray hair to grow, uh, this pre-poo has some great ingredients. The main one being fenugreek. And fenugreek is known to help with hair growth, help with various scalp issues because of its high amounts of nica acid. It also contains lecithin which helps strengthen and hydrate your hair. So the video that I showed you guys of me using this product I used the old formulation which was a bit different in texture. This one is a lot more liquidy as you can see. This one is a lot more liquidy which I like. So the next one that I tried is from African Pride. 
African Pride Pre-Poo. This one I tried and I noticed that the consistency was very different than the Nature's Little Secret that I had tried. Um, but I love this one. This has aloe and coconut water in it and it is really really great at not only detangling my hair but hydrating it before I even start to cleanse my hair. Now you guys saw I recently put out a video on this amazing product from Just For Me, their uh, detangling treatment and it's made for children but it is good for my adult head. I love that this pre-poo has aloe vera, marshmallow root extract, and raw honey. Marshmallow root is really great for slip and raw honey is great for adding moisture to our hair. Again, if I had to choose between all three of them, I really love Nature's Little Secret because of the fenugreek that added benefit of that Ayurvedic herb in there. But if I had a second runner up, that would be this one, the curl piece. And what I wanted you guys to know is that I first tried the Nature's Little Secret and I loved it. You can be open to trying new things. You can have your favorites, but it's nice to also try other ones as well. Now, the last product that I'm going to share you, with you guys that I tried this year and surprisingly was one of my favorite things that I've tried was... Wait for it. <sighs> Beer! <laughs> I tried a beer rinse this year thanks to the lovely Marissa Curls who suggested a beer rinse to me and I loved it. This beer did a lot of the different things that I mentioned to you that these other products did. It gave my hair shine. It gave my hair some volume. It also brightened my gray hair, which really surprised me. So um, it also helped my hair to be very soft. It clarified my hair. So this is like... I was really really surprised so it doesn't have to be this brand any brand of beer that you like um, is great and of course I have a video here of me doing the beer rinse so this will definitely be something that I'm bringing into the next year to use for my gray natural hair because I had such really good results with it one more for honorable mention that I wanted to talk to you guys about is not only trying new products but also trying different methods with your gray hair products so this product here don't shrink gel I used it a lot when my hair when I first did my big chop and my hair was shorter and I wanted some hang this really helped me I also have a video here on my channel of me using this product for a dry wash and go and so when I started to use it when my hair was longer Ironically, when my hair got longer and I wanted it to stay in that tapered shape to give it volume, I didn't want it to hang that much on the side. So I found myself not using this as, as much and thought, you know, maybe this is it for this gel. But by accident one day, I tried this Kinky Curly Custard, which I love. This also has marshmallow root extract in it, which I feel really is good for a styling product because you want you know your gel if you do wash and goes um even if you don't do wash and goes and you want some nice defined twist kinky curly custard is um awesome it can get sticky on its own um if you if you're too heavy handed with it um what happened was i was just thinking of doing a wash and go with the kinky curly not today and the custard and that's it but this Gives me really great definition, gives me really great shine, but lots of shrinkage. So I was like, how about I put a little of this on top so that I could get a little bit of both. The shine, the definition, and a little bit of hang. And these two are like my new favorite combination of this year for my wash and goes. So sometimes what's new for you is not always the product but try mixing different products together and so all these products are um, things that i was open to trying and experimenting with and i'm so happy that i did they will definitely be added to my favorites um, going into this next year 2021 here's a disclaimer I know there are many of you who like to keep your routine very simple. You don't want to have a lot of products. And I get it. I'm definitely not here to encourage product junkieism. However, it is important, especially when you're just starting to get to know your hair. If you are transitioning from relaxed hair to natural hair, you will find that your products may change. And again, as I've said in other videos, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So if you find that the products that you have are working fine for you and you're not doing any pre-poos, then 
by all means continue with the way that you're doing your hair but if you find your hair is a bit dry you want it to have a little bit more shine you want a little bit something more moisturizing but not too heavy then you can try out these products and see how they work for you it's going to be a trial and error process and it doesn't necessarily have to be um, a negative thing I have enjoyed trying those products that I told you guys about and then letting you guys know about it as well so let me know what are your favorite products that you've been using that are staples for you? Um, again, as you guys saw, your recommendations also help me as well. So please make sure you put that down in the comments. And as always, I look forward to um, talking to you guys on the next video. I also wanted to give you guys a special thank you for being such amazing, beautiful butterflies this year. This year was my first full year on YouTube and the women that I have met on here, the ones who have reached out to me and told me about your hair journeys, you guys have helped me so much to grow this year, grow in knowledge, grow in ways that I can help different women on their gray hair transition. Hearing your stories, even though I've already transitioned with my gray hair, has been exciting. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your journey. And some of the comments that you guys um, leave letting me know how you've been helped um, it was really, really encouraging. And then for the times when I wasn't feeling my greatest and that may have affected my consistency, you guys were so supportive and were like, we'll be here when you get back. So I want to make sure that I don't um, end off this year without letting you know how much I appreciate every single one of you. Those of you who've subscribed, those of you who've left comments and things like that, just even watching this video, that is a way to support my channel. So I thank you guys so, so much. And I want to let you know too for those of you who want a little bit more in-depth um, answers to your questions that you may email or comment on my videos about I am offering uh, consultations going into this new year so if you are interested in that please send me an email at nina at naturallygraceful.com and I'll be happy to let you know more about that so again thank you guys so much for your support this year I look forward to continuing to make videos to help you on your gray hair journey I'll see you on the next one bye so of course when you're trying to whiten your gray hair or and what I love about these blue toning, uh, to, um, the next three products that I'm going to show you guys are my pre-proof. Uh.